Hello everyone, my name is Z, and welcome to another episode of Thomas Was Alone. Last time we played, we kind of got a bunch of our characters eaten by a pixel cloud, and I think everything's just kind of going really, really bad, so maybe these two can find a way to escape. I believe these are Sam and Joe, if I remember correctly. And, well, let's see where we have to go. We have to run, but I'm not sure exactly how or where. So let's go find... Joe and Sam ran. What the... They had no idea where these final portals would lead, but it had to be better than this. Like what's going on here? Is it snowing or is it like data loss? I can't tell exactly what's happening, but that's kind of scary. From what I can tell, I don't know, do I just parkour up here? Is that it? I guess I'll just do that then. I can do that, that's fine. Oh, or not. Maybe I can't parkour and I just have to go all the way to the bottom again. Hooray! We're really good at this game, so it won't be any trouble at all for me to figure things out. Is that not the right way? That's not the right way, is it? We have to go to the right, because that's too high. We can't double jump high enough to do that. I knew that all along. If we make our way up here, I have a feeling it's going to be a lot easier for the shorter block, because he's got the, the green aura or whatever, which lets him just reverse gravity. It's literally just this person who's kind of, like, problematic. Oh, well, there we go. So we made it up here. What is this? Looks like kind of like that data stream that Thomas found, right? The, to the surface world? I wonder if that's what this is. I uh, see. Well, we lost our purple double jump ability. And we can't reach that. So I guess we need the other block. Let's grab this guy over here. And look how much easier this is. Or... No, you even got your own little parkour bit. Oh, look at how cool that is. And annoying at the same time. Clever level design. Either way, I am really bad at doing things upside down. I'm sorry, this is not a skill that I acquired over the course of my lifetime. If I had known that it was gonna come in handy like this, I would have learned it years ago. Well, that was easy now that we made it through that part. And I think we need to just stack the better jumper over. Or, there we go. I'm not sure what that- Oh! That's what it's gonna do. It's gonna send us up. <gasps> Where are we going? What is this madness? Oh my gosh. There's- there's something here. Wait, is this the end? Oh my gosh, this is the end! This has to be the end, I've never had a cutscene like this before. What?! That's it?! No! I was expecting so much more! Oh, no! I was like so, I was all in, like today, I didn't even... It's freaking over. What am I supposed to do now? I just spent five minutes completing one level and beating the game. But there, wait, but wait. But wait. That's a lie actually, hold on. There's more. Hold on, if I check, there's a DLC, right? There is! Do we want to do the DLC? What happened to- did, did, they just got eaten, like what was this? Okay, so the moral of the story is, is if random people get eaten by pixel blocks. Life is unfair. The end. I mean, good for Sam and Joe, it looks like they made it to the surface or whatever. Alright, screw it. I'm on- I'm, I'm, I'm not satisfied with that ending, I'm gonna keep playing. Okay, we're back. So, this is the first part of the Thomas is Alone DLC, features a new set of characters, is completely unrelated to the story of the previous, like, you know, the, the actual main story. It's like a, I, I want to believe it's a prequel or whatever, either way, I'm still kind of disappointed with the ending of the, the other game, but like, it was still really fun to play and the story was still pretty, like, interesting and moving. It gave me the feels. Anyways, we're now playing as Ben and... The larger block, I believe, is his father, and Ben's unique trait is hope. 
I don't know where that's going to lead us, but I expect that it'll be a grand adventure. So, let's start moving. We need to get Ben's father up here. The ledge, I don't think is big enough, but he can jump. Yeah, so he should be able to... Or maybe it's like... Yes, okay, so we just need to do that. Climbed between the rocks. If they moved fast enough, they could probably see the fountain before darkness fell. Benjamin had brought sandwiches especially. It had no crusts. Benjamin's father insisted on that. They were meticulously crafted, packed away in neat boxes. For as many cycles as he could remember, Benjamin had made the climb with his father. Every time, the glow felt closer, more tangible. Benjamin hoped that one day, he'd be able to reach out and touch it. All right, so there we go. So Ben's dream is to touch the light, whatever that means. And his father, being the good dad that he is, has decided to help his son. So let's see if we can actually get him to the light or wherever he needs to go. That's exciting. Maybe he's like the first AI to, to escape and then he shows Thomas and the rest of them where like the outside world. That would be a really cool tie into the story if that's like how it happened. I don't mean to call it now and ruin it for everyone, but kind of just called it. So, what is the water? Doom death? Oh, so we do go to the left. So there's no reason to go to the right at all. I'm, I'm assuming dear old dad here needs some assistance climbing. Yeah, just for this part. Alright, Ben. You're a good jumper. Come over here. Can you parkour uh, by your dear old dad? Wow, that worked way better than I expected. I didn't realize that's how it worked. Did they change the physics in the DLC? Because I'm pretty sure you couldn't do that in the original game. I'm not sure, though. Oh, maybe he's just... Abno like, they did say he was a really powerful AI, right? So that might be it, too. He could just be, like, way stronger than other AIs. Look at that! I'm pretty hopeful about this run. And this new story. Hopefully it'll make up for that ending. Whoa! Huge time skip. Actually, I can't really judge since I don't know how much time a cycle is. Maybe I'll have to go look that up. This appears to be... Ben? I'm not sure. It's like Mini Ben, or maybe the map is just gigantic. Benjamin ran. His father had sent word that it was ready, that it was actually done. What? What's done? The light? The thing? What? What's happening? I'm coming, father! Wait for me! There had been a few misfires. Benjamin had seen the rectangle who tested Mark 26. More of a trapezium now. No one wants to be a trapezoid. Irregular shapes. Not simple. Wait, where are we going now? What is this? Is this supposed to be a mountain or an obstacle course? Like, why is this so difficult? What are they doing? What climb are they... What reason are they climbing for? I guess we'll find out. Okay. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time that I have for today. I'm glad we managed to start this new adventure, though, and I'm really excited to see where the story is going. I'm already identifying with the character Ben, like... Probably like significantly more than Sam Joe and the and Team Jump. They were they were cool kids. They were they're all cool dudes, but like, come on, Ben's where it's at. And well, I'll have to continue this in another episode. So until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you for the next chapter of Thomas Was Alone. Get out of my house. So long.